So today we were at one of the seven wonders of the world. I uh, went to Giza and saw the pyramids, um, four of them, uh, each in different sizes, but uh, amazing. When they were talking about the largest pyramid, over 100,000 people took to put this thing together, three million blocks, and each block weighed uh, between uh, three to 15 tons. Just amazing how big these things were. Interesting, uh, the guide said that there's neighborhoods near there that people have inherited from their parents and their grandparents that they're unwilling to sell. And the reason being is because only 55% of the Egyptian artifacts have been found while there's still 45% that haven't been found and they're worth a lot of money. So people hang on to them. So just super impressive. Uh, we went into the second pyramid, not the biggest, but the second pyramid and actually were able to go inside it. And I got to be honest, got a little claustrophobic, super tight, had to basically be on your uh hands and knees almost. I mean, it really crouched over. Lots of people, really stuffy. And uh, we went pretty far back I mean, as far as we could go and just very um, interesting just being back there. Um, then we went on some camel rides. Uh, camels are a lot higher up in the ground than I think we anticipated. Uh, my camel was named Charlie Brown. Chrissy's was uh, Mickey Mouse. And uh, then of course, we met some local vendors that probably took us for some cash and were very aggressive. So that was uh, that was pretty cool. So we left there, went to this papyrus place that shows how they make papyrus in the first place, how they cut it up. Um, so they take these branches, cut them up, and then they put them in water. And they have to be in water for 6 to 12 days, depending on what shade they want the papyrus. Then they um, interweave them together and then put them on this uh, flat press for another 12 days. And that's what makes this papyrus that's intertwined that then you can't, um, can't wreck or break. So uh, pretty, pretty impressive little place. Then uh, we left there and went to Saqqara, which is the oldest pyramid um, in Egypt. Uh, not as big as the ones in Giza, but still very impressive and uh, interesting. As they were talking to us, they said that um, as they discover these things, they try to make it as true to what it was to use the material that they have. So when they run out of the original material to reconstruct these things, they basically stop because they're trying to keep it authentic. So uh, a lot of this stuff was just um, kind of the base was recreated and made, but um, yeah, that was basically it. So uh, incredible to be at one of the seven wonders of the world today and just see, uh, I, I don't even comprehend how these people uh, 5,000 years ago were able to construct these massive um, temples and stones, um, but pretty cool day.